As a young person and being a young parent, I had a lot to learn. And with five children, I was, I was busy. It was good times, crying times with the kids, but you know, that's normal everyday life. So, you know, I, I have good memories of that. When I look back on it, how did I do it? You know, how did I manage to uh, bring in wood, carry water, wash clothes, and plus have all these children? But to us, it was normal. You know, you do what you have to do with the strength that you have, and that's how we live. Gerald, when he left to go trapping in the fall, uh, he was away trapping because that was part of life back then. The men were gone a lot of the times in the winter to make a living for us. So most of the time, our daily life was about survival and our people helped one another. That's the way it was. But when the Indian agent came to the community and said, well, I'm taking your children and being taken away from your, your family, your, your mother, father, and your siblings, I mean, what does that do to a child? It hurts, you know, like, because you don't understand, well, why did this happen? In today's words, it's intergenerational trauma. We lost our way of life and we had no way to express ourselves anymore. I know I grew up that way. I didn't have no one to talk to. In my life, I had to figure out things on my own and come to some sort of sense about what life was really about. I'm thankful that I was able to uh, find some inner peace and forgiveness is, uh, is a big thing. Sometimes it's shame that causes uh, you not to want to face your past. Ask for that help as a people we can stand together.